Hello people, this is Mark from Can Exchange Works. Uh, hope that you are well. Moaning, complaining. We've been talking about this over the last couple of days or so. Now here's the thing. What do you do when uh, people complain at you? How do you feel? Now, I understand that when people complain and you are the receiver of these complaints, this moaning, I understand that it is a draining experience. Some people who like to moan, when they notice, you listen and pay attention to what they say. It nearly qualifies them to talk to you even more when it comes down to their persistent moaning and complaining. So really what I'm saying here is be wise in who you allow to complain at you for a duration of time. However, that said, let's flip this on its head and we and I ask you this particular question when it's your turn to moan when you've been sneep when you've been upset by some behavior some remark or whatever the case might be how do you feel when your friend listens and understands where you are coming from Chances are your friend, when they moan at you, or maybe even to you, 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 you get it, when they're moaning, they might feel exactly the same. So what am I saying here is, we need to become aware of how the other person is feeling when they moan and the reasons why they feel like that. You feel exactly the same. When you're that angry, that upset, that disappointed, that frustrated, that hurt. It feels like when people moan, in my eyes at least, and it's only my opinion. All these negative emotions seem to be bottled up. And when you moan, it seems like the bottle is slowly being unscrewed. And all that stuff just comes out and for many at least in my experience but for many I do believe it is it is a sigh of relief that all that stuff can get off your chest and chances are you feel better it might be that the fog in your mind has now cleared and you can see where you're going so the responsibility really is on both people on, on, on this equation, whether you are the listener or whether you are the moaner, that we choose carefully who we moan at and how we listen when we are moaned at. Now, here's the thing. If you value your friend, if you're the listener, if you value them, chances are that you are going to make some time, make some space for them to uh, have their say, have their moan and allow them uh, to get rid of all this stuff. Because as a friend, that's what you probably would do. You value them. So if you know that they are all bent up and twisted out of shape because of some negative experience and they choose you to moan at. From my perspective, you're in a very precious position. Because that says to me that you are trusted enough not to disappoint them even further. They trust you enough to listen and care. They trust you enough in order to feel comfortable 
whilst they are offloading their stuff. In my eyes, precious. The thing is, nowadays, there's a lot of people who've got really fantastic relationships, really tight and strong friendships. But sometimes we don't really want to open up and become a little bit vulnerable in terms of how we feel when we need to explode a little bit. Sometimes we feel erroneously that the friend who we trust a lot might get upset. Yes, they might do. Not at you, but alongside you. I read a little saying a little while ago and it says, those people who matter won't mind. And those who mind, they don't matter. So let's apply this. If you're moaning at a friend and they mind about the fact that you're moaning and you're taking up their time because they got things to do, they don't matter in your life. But those people who've got things to do, but they make time to listen to you because they value you as a friend. They truly matter. So pick wisely. At least pick who you could trust, who you value, who values you. And when you explode, at least you know you are in safe hands sometimes we just need to make a different choice not necessarily than one we would would make under normal circumstances but when people moan and when they complain they have reason to do so and we need to find a reason to listen to them should we value them That's all I want to say. When we moan, we moan at people who we think and believe and understand will be understanding and caring and compassionate. I get that. We need to do that because we can't bubble up all these emotions. They, it, it will drive us crazy. I take my hats off to those people who are in the customer services career choices who hear this constant drone of moaning and I wonder how tiring that is. When you get home and you hear someone else moan <laughs> you're basically still at work. I don't think that is a fun position to be in. So for those who are in customer services who do that kind of job Man, it's hats off to you. That's all I want to say at this particular point in time is we, we, when we get moaned at, you are then in a good position, strong position, a trusted position. That's all I want to say. Maybe this video has caused you to think about your friendships. Maybe it's caused you to think about what position and role you play in your friends' lives. Maybe it's caused you to think about what role they play in your life. The only thing that we really have that is substantial is friendships, relationships. Everything else in the world can be replaced. But memories can't people you can't replace them so when you are in this privileged position it tells me that you are loved and trusted it means someone has got some fond thoughts of you some thought fond memories with you and if anything i would encourage you to Value those. Remember those. 
Because needless to say, having those memories takes time. And time with a friend, well, is a time well spent. I would like to hear your comments regarding this particular video, should you be brave enough to do so. Please share and subscribe as I refer to the YouTube admin. For now, this is Mark from Colors Changeworks and I'll speak to you soon.